Hey guys, this is Miles from Swiss Crypto Podcast and in this video I'm going to talk about Nestle implementing blockchain. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So last week there was major news about the Swiss company called Nestle which produces a lot of different food products and food supplements and I wanted to take my time on this because I don't like to rush things because most of the time it's just hype. So that's why I took some time to research it and bring some details to you guys. So let's start. At first, let's clarify what Nestle really is. Nestle is a Swiss multinational food and drink company based in Switzerland and it's actually the largest food company in the world measured by revenues. And they operate in 189 countries and employ roughly 340,000 people. So this company is huge. And in a recent press release, they announced that they want to track their products along the supply chain with the blockchain technology. And that the biggest food company in the world announces to make use of the blockchain technology that cryptocurrency use is just a very, very big thing. It will shed more light on the cryptocurrency scene, on the blockchain scene for sure, and it will for sure push adoption. So how does this blockchain implementation of Nestle look like? Um, to be able to track their products, Nestle wants to implement a blockchain and after that they will pilot it first. So they'll see with one or two different products how the technology works. And for that they collaborated with OpenSC. OpenSC was founded by the WWF Australia and the Boston Consulting Group Digital Ventures. And for the blockchain that they are going to use for the project that Nestle wants to do, they announced that they will provide storage of traceability data on their own decentralized platform. To be honest, I actually wasn't able to find out what blockchain protocol that they are going to use. I guess it's a product made by OpenSC. I don't have a single clue what blockchain it will be. Um, I'll have an ear open for that. Probably I'll hear it from somewhere or see it somewhere with a report that states the exact technological details about the blockchain that Nestle is going to use. But for now, I can't tell you guys what blockchain that Nestle will use. Um, but I can tell you, however, for what they are going to use it first when they are doing the pilot program. In the first pilot program, Nestle will trace milk from farms and producers in New Zealand or coming from New Zealand. And if that pilot program was successful, they will later also implement blockchain tracing for palm oil sourced in North and South America. And it's actually not the first time that Nestle is trying out blockchain technology. What a lot of people don't know is that Nestle tried blockchain for the first time in 2017 already with IBM's Food Trust blockchain. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to make another podcast about that Food Trust blockchain. So stay tuned for that one. But for now, just be sure to know that Nestle already made pilot programs with blockchain back in 2017 with a product of IBM. So they are quite experienced already in comparison to other companies around the world. And why this topic is so interesting to me is that there was actually a lot of criticism because of the way that Nestle is farming, if you want to say so, water in the third world countries and selling it back to them. So there was a lot of criticism from people that don't think that it's a good idea to get the water from third world countries and sell it back to them and sell it here in first world countries. I'm not going to make a statement here on that channel because it's not a political channel, but you get the idea what I want to say. So with the use of blockchain, this could be 
a real improvement of the company's image in the future because customers can exactly track where their products are coming from and what way they took to get to the customer. And that I think is quite important just to be aware where your food comes from, where it went to actually and what way it took. And for some of you, this probably sounds quite familiar with tracing food with blockchain because there was another Swiss company that I'm not going to reveal yet, a quite a big Swiss company that has made use of blockchain to trace their food products to offer the customers a bigger service in knowing where that food came from. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I personally found it very interesting and I really find that this is going into the right direction to bring more service to the customers that order food, that eat a lot of food, obviously, and that people know where their food and water, etc. is coming from. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this topic. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one.